Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a flat tire on the John Deere launch tractor. The front one's leaking here in the front. All right, take this cap off just to heat it up a little bit. Don't take much. And yank it off here. Just grab a little hook. That's easier with a hook, but you can just yank it off if you need. I think your E-clip here. Comes right off here. Come with the washer. I'm gonna take your wheel off. Make sure the washer is off this side, it's still in there. It wasn't I'm gonna put some air in it. Way too much in there, but I just wanna see where it leaks. And spray some soapy water. set there. Now let's use ordinary dish soap, uh, half a teaspoon to uh, half a gallon and shake it a little bit, mix it up and let's going to see if it's, uh, it's going to start bubbling here. There's not even no cracks on here because if there's a crack it would start bubbling right here. So this tar is, is, is like new so it must be a hole in it or something. So the other side. So it's not bubbling around the rim, so no, it's not leaking there. So, here, right there, look at that. He's bubbling right there. All right, you can go at the local store, hardware store, or in Canada, we had to call a dollar store, $2.50. You get the pluck kit here, right here, or what I got a, my own right here. Same thing as that. There's the hole right there. I can feel it. Oops, just in here. A lot of air could come out here. Grab a, grab one of your plugs, stick it in your, in your holder here. Way there. This kit comes with this uh, rubber solution here. Put some of that on. Pump the tire back up here. And then hold right here. Just stick this in here. I'm gonna put my thumb here so I don't put the plug in all the way. But halfway in. Right there. And just pull it out. And it'll stay right in there. I'm gonna spray a little soapy water here, see if it still leaks. And that's good. So I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna cut this off with a razor blade. I'm gonna check the tire pressure, make sure set it at 14 PSI. Time to lube up the spindle. And put a little lube here too, and hurt. All right, set this back on. Get the clip in the groove. Just line this over. If you don't have to take the wheel off, uh, you can spray soapy water on a thread and see if you ran over a nail. But if your thread's good, you're going to have to take the wheel off and, and, and spray around your rim. And Or if you have a crack here, you can try spraying it to see if it starts bubbling. But if not, you have to take the wheel off lay it flat. If you have a crack in your tire and it starts bubbling here, you're going to have to put a tube in it. Alright, if you like this video, press thumbs up below, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.